as the four new Big 12 members, BYU, UCF, Houston, and Cincinnati, prepare to enter the conference in 2023, they are expected to have some growing pains due to moving up a level of competition. However, it's also not out of the equation that at least one, if not all four of these teams, will be able to compete in the Big 12 in year one. One team that scares me the most as a West Virginia fan, the UCF Knights. Pull up a chair, sit back, relax, and I'll explain why. What is up, Big 12 football fans? Welcome into another edition of Coos's Corner, where we serve up nothing but top-shelf college football content with a heavy dose of the Big 12, conference realignment, and the West Virginia Mountaineers. If you like that type of content, please subscribe to the channel. Now let's dive right in. So, why do I think UCF has a legit chance to compete in the Big 12 in year one? Well, there are a few reasons. Number one is Gus Malzahn. Gus Malzahn, their coach, their head coach, before coming to UCF, he coached at Auburn for eight years. Even led Auburn into the national championship game in his first year at the helm there. So he has had success at the Power 5 level already, in, in even in the toughest conference in America. But the primary reason I'm concerned as a West Virginia fan about UCF coming into the league in 2023 and having to play them, well, other than the fact it's West Virginia and they've been terrible as of late. But outside of that, I'm concerned because of this guy. His wheelhouse and crushes it to left center field. Great effort by Skinner out there trying to make a catch. And it goes by him with Plumley speed. He heads to third base with a two-run triple to get UCF on the board. He absolutely. No, I know what you're thinking. I did not show the wrong clip. That is a clip of UCF baseball player John Rice Plumley, who also, as most of you probably already know, just so happens to also be the starting quarterback for the Knights football team. He decided to return for his final year of eligibility. Now, this guy scares me to death, and he is extremely dangerous. He's a very fun player to watch if you're not a fan of the team he's playing against. He's such a great athlete and can beat you with both his arm and his legs as a quarterback. To give you an idea of how good of an athlete he is, after going two for three with a two-run triple in the Knights baseball win over Memphis this past weekend, he left the game in the seventh inning. He got in a golf cart, took a seven-minute trip across campus to the football stadium, changed into his football uniform, goes out, participates in the spring game, and just so happens to go 10 of 17 passing for 230 yards and two touchdowns. The same day he played a regular season baseball game and went two for three with a triple. And yes, I know this was just a spring game, but Plumley has been a two-sport athlete all through his college career. He started his college career at Ole Miss in 2019, where he did see some playing time as a freshman after quarterback Matt Corral went down with an injury. As a matter of fact, he saw quite a bit of playing time. He played well, rushing for over 1,000 yards and throwing for an additional 900. He was unable to win the starting job from Corral the following season, but he's such a good athlete, Coach Lane Kiffin wanted him on the football field, so he moved him to slot receiver. And in 2021, Plumley actually caught 19 balls for 201 yards as a receiver, but he had not scratched that itch of playing quarterback at the FBS level. So he decides to hit the transfer portal and go to UCF. Now, the reason, one of the reasons he picked UCF is because Coach Gus Malzahn was willing to let him play baseball as well as football. Now, he's not only playing both sports and participating in both sports, he's starting in both sports. He's a starting out. He's a starting outfielder for the Knights baseball team, and like I said, the starting quarterback for the football team. So he's able to do something very few college athletes have been able to do, and that's play both sports at that level. He's even getting praise from another dual sport athlete who played not only at that level, but at the highest level, and that's Coach Prime. Take a look at this tweet that Coach Prime put out. Or it was actually a retweet of the video that was out there of Plumley taking that golf cart ride that I mentioned. As you see here, the tweet that Coach Prime put out, it says, I absolutely love it. There's so many more athletes out there that's capable and love both. Do you? And like I said, this is a retweet of the video of – Rice Plumley taking that golf cart ride, which I recommend you go check out on John Rice Plumley's Twitter account. Now, the reason Plumley scares me so much on the football field is the progression he's made as a quarterback. Last season at UCF, Plumley was 218 of 346 passing, which is good for a 63% completion percentage. 
2,586 yards, 14 touchdowns, eight interceptions. He had a quarterback rating of 134.5. Now, those stats, they're good stats. They're not great. They're not elite. But here's the kicker. He also carried the ball 159 times for 862 yards and 11 touchdowns. It was good for 5.4 yards per carry with the ball in his hand. So he's just as dangerous, if not more dangerous, running the ball as he is throwing the ball. And he has a really, really strong arm. He can really burn you deep or with his legs. And he's just got big playability written all over him. If you go check out his highlights all over YouTube, man, you'll see all kinds of big plays he makes during his days at Ole Miss and even and now at UCF where he's improved even more. For his career, he has rushed for over 2,000 yards, and it's very feasible that, barring injury, he could eclipse that 1,000-yard mark again in 2023. And as you see, by these numbers and the highlights that I recommend you go check out, he, like I said, he just has big playability written all over him. Now, he is, like I said, he's very fun to watch if you don't have to play against him or your team isn't playing against him. And I really respect the fact that he's willing to play both sports. Now, if you want to hear more about UCF football and what to expect as they enter the Big 12 Conference, check out the interview I did with Christian Simmons from Night Sports Now and the Pegasus Podcast. You can check it out at the link right here. With that, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Cousins Corner. Q Country Roads.